Hi guys, it's Mox from Hi on Android. Today we're going to teach you how to install GSI ROMs on any Xiaomi device that has Project Treble support. Let's go and take a look, baby. Alright guys, the first thing you want to do is unlock the bootloader on your Xiaomi device. I've got a Xiaomi Mi 9 here that I'm going to be using to do this. Now, I do have a full written tutorial guide on my site at forum.hionandroid.com. You can follow along there. I'll have a link to this thread here, how to install GSI ROMs on Xiaomi, uh, Xiaomi Android. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to unlock the bootloader. Now, you do have to check if your phone is supported. Go to this here on the step three, which is going to tell you uh, if it's Project Treble supported. All right, if you go all the way down uh, to Xiaomi, you're going to see you're gonna see all the stuff that's supported. So starting with Xiaomi Mi 8 is pretty much supported. You're gonna be A. Uh, if a check mark, then it's supported. If you have Xiaomi Mi 6, unfortunately, this tutorial is not gonna work. If there's a check mark by your device and you're good to go, I have a Xiaomi Mi 9 Cepheus. Uh, it's got a check mark and AB device. They're all gonna be ARM64, all the newer phones. Um, so I've got an AB device. I just have to remember it's an AB device, all right? Just make, make sure to remember that. Now you can go ahead and use a Project Treble app, but sometimes it's not really accurate. So I do recommend referring to this page here. For other Xiaomi's, if you have Mi Mix 3, it's gonna be AB. 2S is gonna be A. Mi Mix 2 is not supported. Mi Mix is not supported because only the newer Xiaomi devices have Project Treble support. That's if your device launched with Android 9 or higher. All right, for Redmi, you can see uh, all of these are supported. Redmi, Xiaomi Redmi Notes, it's supported since Note 6 Pro. So just make note of it, and if your device is supported on this page, you're good to go. Or if you have bought any new Xiaomi devices after 2019, you buy any Xiaomi devices this year, they're all compatible, and they're most likely going to be AV. All right. Next, you're going to have to unlock the bootloader. If you've never unlocked the bootloader on your Xiaomi device, I'm go ahead and follow this here. I made a how to unlock bootloader on all Xiaomi's. This works on all the newer Xiaomi's, all the older Xiaomi's. Um, so go ahead and follow this guy. Now you may have to wait a week or two uh, in order to unlock the bootloader. So this is the first step. So once you have unlocked the bootloader, we're ready to go. You're gonna go do step two. So I got my Xiaomi here. We're gonna go ahead and boot into the fast boot mode. So go ahead and power off, power off, power off. And we're gonna go ahead and hold down volume down and power after it's powered off. That's how you get into fast boot mode until you see that uh, Xiaomi guy look, lurching into the Android. Oh my God, what is he doing? That's scary, isn't it? Enough of this nonsense. Go ahead and connect a USB cable to your Xiaomi device to your computer. You can go ahead and use a Windows computer, or you can even use a Linux or Mac computer. Although I do not re recommend Mac computers, it's closed source. All right, next step, uh, we're gonna go ahead and download uh, Fastboot Zip for all Windows, Mac, Linux. If you have Windows, you need Windows ADB drivers. Do not use the one that came with your computer. It's not gonna work. Uh, Twerp Recovery, also the GSI. Generic system image is basically what we're installing, and it's you can install it on any Xiaomi device, or in fact, any Android device that supports GSI. That's the beauty of GSI. That's why we're doing this. And also, DM no Verity. This will disable your boot verification on custom GSI. And also, Magisk, optional if you want root. So go ahead and download all this. Um, go ahead and click on this link, and you'll come to the download link. Now, all of the download links are at the bottom. Uh, do not click on the odds here, and go ahead and click here to download. How simple was that? And it'll start downloading. I'm already downloaded, so I'm going to cancel. All right, let's go back here. You're going to go ahead and also download VB Meta, and you're going to move it into your fast boot folder. I'll show you that. And also, um, you can also download DM No Verity, a zip file, and also Window ADB drivers. And also, you're going to download Majesk if you want to root. You'll also need the IPK just in case the manager doesn't install. And you'll also need Majesk uninstaller. And also, GSI of your choice here. Go to the treble ROM here. You can download the correct GSI ROM. Uh, most likely, you guys will probably, let's say I want to download a Bliss ROM. Most likely you guys have AB device, but if you have an older Xiaomi device, you'll want to download the A. ARM64A or ARM64AB, depending on which device you have. Okay, so we can click on Download Centers here, for example. You'll find a bunch of numbers. Go ahead and click on the latest date. And you're going to download ARM64. So it's going to be ARM64. Uh, B, anything that starts with B is actually AB. A is actually A only. So download the one with Google Apps, so it's going to be BG. S, the ARM64 VGS for uh, for AV devices with Google Apps. And it's going to be AVS, ARM64 AVS for A-only devices, all right? It's a little confusing. If you want to just follow along my tutorial, because I'll be using uh, CR Droid ROM, CR Droid uh, GSI, and it's really good. So you can just download it on the forum. Um, just download this one's only for AV device. All right, here's all the files you should have downloaded. Fastboot.zip, right? Double click it and uh, extract all, all right, into Fastboot folder. I already did that, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that. And you should also have uh, the GSI. This is the CR Droid ARM64 BGN. This is for AV device. Now you're gonna have to download 7-Zip. Go ahead and install it, run 7-Zip. All right, and you're gonna be able to extract the actual image out of it. So you're gonna go into your downloads folder, double click on the img.xz file, and then go ahead and extract, and okay. And this will extract the actual IMG file, the image file that you'll need to actually flash. All right, once that's done, you should have, you close out of there. You should have, uh, you should have the IMG file there, and you should have also downloaded VB Meta. Go ahead and move this into your fast boot folder. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move that. 
And also, you should have downloaded Twerp Recovery for your Xiaomi device. Now, a lot of the newer devices, it's not going to be at twerp.me, the usual place. So I just suggest just typing, for example, for my Xiaomi uh, Mi 9, go into Xiaomi Mi 9 XDA Twerp. Twerp XDA, blah, blah, blah. And then you'll see a bunch of ones. Try to get the latest 3.4.0 for Cepheus. And go ahead and download the latest version here for Mi 9. Uh, make sure there's a Twerp Recovery, obviously, for your Xiaomi device. Also, you need to get, download all the Majisk, the Majisk V20.1 if you want root, and also the uninstaller. If you end up in a boot loop, you'll need to recover by installing the uninstaller and the APK file to install the manager, right? And also, you should have downloaded DM No Verity. Uh, also, go ahead and move the Twerp Recovery. I'm just going to simply drag it into the fast boot folder. So before we begin, you should have a recovery image and vbmeta.img. If you don't see the .img, that means you don't have extensions turned on on your Windows computer. Go ahead and turn it on. If you don't know how to do it, uh, please Google it. Next, go ahead and open up a control, uh, sorry, device manager. Just type device manager and start. And make sure you have ADB drivers installed. If you don't have that installed, also go ahead and download the ADB drivers, uh, the program and run it. And you can see I have it here under Android phone, Android bootloader interface. If you see that, you're good to go. Next, we're gonna go ahead and open up a command prompt, type CMD uh, in Windows and go ahead and type CD downloads, enter CD fastboot, enter. And we're gonna go ahead and flash the torque recovery. So fastboot space, flash space, recovery space, type CWRP or whatever the name of your, uh, the first four letters of your Tor recovery file name and go ahead and hit the tab key and it'll fill it out for you. That way you get the exact file name. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and this will flash Tor recovery to your Xiaomi device. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and go back to our phone and we're gonna go ahead and reboot by holding down volume down and power. And as soon as it starts rebooting, we're gonna hold up volume up and power. All right, all right, now hold down volume up and power and hold it until you enter Tor recovery, just like that, boom shakalaka. Now, if you miss this step, just hold down volume down and power until it resets and then do it again. I'll go ahead and strike to unlock. You'll have to erase everything on your phone. All right, at this point, if you did not make a backup, go back, reboot, and back up everything. Then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe everything. Go to wipe format data, say yes. All right, this will erase everything on your Xiaomi device. We need to do this because with the stock software, it's encrypted. Oh, we just need to do it once. All right, once that's done, we have to reboot Torp Recovery. Go to reboot, recovery. And this will reboot you back into Torp Recovery. Oh, I forgot one more step. You know what, sorry, my bad. You should have also flashed VB Meta. Go back to Reboot. Go back to uh, Bootloader, which is Fastboot. Um, you should have done it. I should have followed my own guide here. But basically, you have to write Fastboot space flash space VB Meta space VB Meta IMG. Sorry, I didn't focus my camera there. Um, make sure you do this. If you don't do this, your GSI will not boot. You just have to only do it once. This basically disables the boot verification. All right. Sorry, Macro Linux. You can go ahead and follow my guide on the site here. You can go ahead and use it. The substitute. Commands. All right, let's go back to uh, the tool recovery. Sorry, it's a little bit redundant here. Volume down and power until your phone reboots, and it's going to be power up and volume up and power buttons like that. Just slide it up like that. And that's how you enter tool recovery next time you want to enter tool recovery. Now we have wiped our data. So next, what we're going to do, we're going to copy over the files that we need. So let's go back to our computer. And what we're going to do is go back to our downloads folder, and we're going to copy over the GSI, the disk files uh, and the DM verify. So I'm going to go and copy over CD, ROM, CR, Droid, blah, 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 dot IMG. I'm going to hold the control button. I'm going to also select disable DM verify. I'm going to also select all the Magisk files. All right, and I'm going to do a right click, copy, and let's go to our Xiaomi Mi 9 there. Go to the internal storage, and then right click paste. That's how you go. And let that copy over and we'll be back. All right, when that's done, we are good to go. We don't need our cable, take that out. Let's go ahead and finish the job. Uh, what you're going to do is swipe to unlock. Uh, we're going to just do a standard wipe. Go to wipe, advanced wipe, wipe dolly, all cache, cache, system, data. Just like that. We're going to swipe. Uh, going to home. And we're going to go to install. And we're going to go install image. And we're going to select the IMG file we should have copied over. And we're going to select system image and swipe to confirm flash. This will install the GSI on your Xiaomi device. All right, it, shouldn't take, it only took like five seconds. That's normal. Go ahead and hit home button. Install and make sure you install DS, uh, disable DM Verity, blah, blah, zip. Confirm to flash. All right, I recommend actually flashing the Magisk file after verifying that you fully booted because sometimes Magisk can mess you up. Um, so go back home, reboot system, and cross your fingers that your GSI is going to boot. If it does not boot, throw it out the window. Get another the phone. So if you see the boot up logo, you are good as golden, most likely. But if you get stuck here more than a minute, uh, then you may want to try reflashing everything. Make sure you did everything right from step one. And boom shakalaka. We're going to hit next. And boom shakalaka, baby. Uh, we have Play Store. We have CR Droid ROM running. All right, looking really good. Um, everything working. I do not have a SIM card in here, uh, but your data should be working if you have a SIM card in there. Uh, looking very good. Now, if you want Majisk root, obviously reboot back into Twerp now. 
Go ahead and power off. Now, at this point, if you don't need root, you can quit. All right, you don't have to root your phone. It's an optional thing, but I like to do it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hold down the volume up and power to enter Torp Recovery. And once in Torp Recovery, we're gonna go ahead and install Majisk. Install. Oh, we have to copy it over again. Sorry. When you install ROM, you might have wiped off everything the first time you do it. This happens when you first install ROM. So I'm just gonna copy over the same Majisk files over. We're going to copy over all the Majisk files, the three files we need. Do a roll click, copy, go to show me, me knowing. Go to internal storage. You can put it in your downloads folder. Go ahead and paste. And then we don't, don't need the cable anymore. And we're gonna go back here and install download Majisk v20.1. 20.4 should also work, uh, but 21.0 is actually a beta version that works for also Android 11. Now, Android 11 is a little tricky. The GSI might boot or not. Um, you may have to reinstall stock firmware and install over. I'll have another instructions on Android 11. You can try it, but this method should work on all the Android 10. Android 11, uh, there's, uh, if you're watching this in the future, it'll probably work, but right now, Android 11 is very beta. Um, so I do recommend waiting, waiting around for that. Go ahead and reboot system, and you should have full Majisk root, and you should have a fully rooted uh, Xiaomi Mi 9. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe for more tips and hacks, tricks, blah, blah, blah. All right, also join our forum, our new forum at uh, forum.high on Android. And so this is the CR Droid ROM. Uh, it does come with Majisk app. If for some reason, if you don't see the Majisk Manager app, you can go to Files, go to your Downloads folder, and install Majisk Canary 2020.apk. But it's already installed. I'm going to go ahead and open, and boom shakalaka. If you see a number by installed, that means it's been installed. And let's go ahead and see... Let's go ahead and connect to the internet real quick if you want to do safety net check. Let's go ahead and do the safety net check here. Hit OK. And boom, shakalaka. It passes without Majisk hide. Now you can install Google Pay on the CR Droid ROM. Well, that's why I recommend it. If you want to use a GSI that has pretty much everything walking out to the box, uh, the CR Droid is very good. If you want to know about other GSIs, I'll be uploading on this channel, obviously. Subscribe for that. This should help you install GSI on all the Xiaomi phones, especially all the new ones that support Project Treble. And convert your Xiaomi device so you can use pure Google Android instead of my UI, which I really don't like. Have a great day, and as always, stay hot on Android. Click here to subscribe.